What's something that everyone wants? A vacation. The wealthy wish to take a vacation from the hustle, and the rest of us ask how we can make more money so that we can take more vacations. But if you're constantly needing to take vacations, if you're always wishing to get away, then you're missing the mark. Because that means you're running away from everyday life. And that means it's obviously not fulfilling enough, as it should be. So the goal isn't to get away from everyday life, but to make everyday life a little bit more peaceful and satisfying so that you won't need to take as many vacations. Now, if you implement these, I guarantee you they will work. They've worked for me, they work for my family, and even some of my friends. And I'm positive they will for you too. So let's get started and take a vacation. Yeah, so how do we do this? Okay, step one, dress like you're on vacation. And yeah, I know this is way easier during the warm months, but still, the point still stands, okay? Certain clothing manifests certain feelings and certain emotions. And this is usually because of the power of association. So what you gotta do is wear things that you associate with vacations. So for me, that's probably gonna be a Hawaiian shirt, some linen trousers, and maybe some loafers, right? Wherever permissible, you wear these things. And as long as it's in harmony with yourself and your personal style, then you'll feel much more relaxed, at ease, and comfortable. Okay, so this one is golden. Give good associations for everything. Win used to be super annoying for me. And I mean, yes, it is when I'm trying to film, but whatever the point so stands. Until I went to Greece, because it was windy everywhere, in the mountains, at the sea, near the villages or the cities, it was freaking windy. So when on March 11th, it was 70 degrees, but it was like ultra windy, didn't bother me and I loved it because guess what? It reminded me of Greece. When I hear cicadas, it reminds me of Greece. It's to the point now where my friend always mocks me and he goes, bro, it reminds me of Nafplio, Greece, bro, but whatever. I don't care because you know what? It benefits me. I gave good associations to normal things. You can even do it with something as simple as, you know, cloudy days in November and March. Now I associate that with reading Lord of the Rings. So when I take a walk, it's even more enjoyable than it normally would be. It works. Have you ever been on vacation in like a little bungalow or a house at Airbnb and drinking tea or coffee is out of these cool little cups and it just seems like every little thing that you do or use that's mundane normally is really fun and interesting? Well, the great thing is you can actually just do that at home because what they're doing over there is using true art, which is craftsmanship and beautiful things that are of everyday use. So brewing coffee is just, you know, normal. It's every day, but it can actually be really fun to make. Brewing Greek or Turkish coffee is such a joy to make, especially when the brikis look really nice or the cups are beautiful or have a story to them like this one personally does for me. And it's basically going back to point number one, but instead of dressing yourself for vacation, you're dressing your home, you're dressing your environment for that vacation feeling. We do it at this house. Every little thing we add has got some sort of vacation feel to it. The back porch feels very nautical and Greek. And the front porch was actually inspired by Mackinac Island. And now it's got Edison light bulbs and really colorful furniture. Simple, but every time I'm sitting in there, it feels like I'm on a freaking vacation. If you take all these little things that you use every day and make them enjoyable to use, whether that be spoons or cups or pillows, whatever, and it doesn't have to be expensive, you can get this stuff at garage sales or antique shops, right? If you do that, then it takes away the need to have some big, fancy, elaborate house or go on some wild, exotic place for vacation all the time because it's right at your home, man. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, your house is nice and all that. I don't have a big house. Well, my brother doesn't either. It's tiny, but it's really awesome because of how he styled it. Looks like a Greek vacation home. So just as we dress ourselves in traditional craftsmanship, we should also dress our homes in traditional craftsmanship and true art. And I guarantee you, it'll be so much more enjoyable to be content and staying in your house. But we should get out of the house. I mean, we've been stuck in the house for like two freaking years now. So no, I mean, enjoy your time in the house, but, but get out. We need to get out of it. Get outside, touch some grass. Invite friends and family over. Dude, I've spent enough time with Greeks and Serbs to realize that they have mastered living life without needing or having much at all. It's amazing. Just invite friends and family over for, you know, drinks, playing cards, tavoli, or just even chit-chatting. It's nothing huge, but that's not the point. It's just super fun, you know? And it, be honest, spending a little bit of money on booze, coffee, or drinks, or what have you, is gonna be way cheaper than the hundreds or likely thousands you're gonna spend on a vacation, just one vacation. 
seriously. But you need to know a little bit how to host. And if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. I know a few people who could use it. Mm -hmm. It says, take a vacation from my problems. Now, this doesn't mean ignoring your problems or not addressing them. It's actually quite the opposite. It's more that every day, every other day, every week, however often, reward yourselves for the tasks that you have accomplished. Not only will this actually motivate you to get the work done, but you'll feel and will be justified in that vacation that you take because it'll be earned. A vacation from my problems? Bet I will. As cliche as this sounds, enjoy the simple things in life and have a realistic outlook on life itself. You can still have a great day even if it's filled with stress. It can be something as simple as saying, I don't know, a great white egret in a really cool looking tree. That really lifted up my day recently and it was not the best, but at the end of the day, that really made it all worthwhile. And I bet you, you can remember a vacation where a few days weren't so hot, but then when you look back at the vacation itself in your memories, they're awesome and it was totally worth it. So I have the same outlook on life as you did with those vacations. Now guys, I'm being serious here and I personally need to remind myself of this all the time. And that is, if you're getting stressed out because something isn't perfect or it didn't go according to plan, just remind yourself that these not so perfect, not going according to plan moments are absolutely guaranteed a part of life and completely normal. And the moment you remember that, that these not planned moments are normal and expected and bound to happen, you'll be much more okay with it happening because it was bound to happen. So with that being said, yeah, have fun guys and take a vacation from your problems. <laughs> Adios.